Hello, welcome to On The Mark. My name is Mark O'Keefe. I'm executive editor for HeraldStandard.com. This is uh, another in a weekly video programs that we're doing. We're inviting uh, the readers and viewers of HeraldStandard.com to please uh, submit questions. We want to try and make this as interactive as possible. I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that have a, a lot of questions about why we do things or why we don't do things. So this is your opportunity to try and uh, ask me a, a question and or questions and I'll try and answer them to, to the best of my ability. Uh, the, the, the hot topic this week really was I um, uh, had uh, Uniontown uh, Magisterial District Justice uh, Michael Mitros ended up uh, closing a preliminary hearing uh, this past week. It was a 16 year old mentally challenged girl who was testifying in a sexual abuse case and the uh, police officer involved wanted, felt that, that maybe it would be better if nobody was there while she would uh, give her testimony in private. And all in all that sounds like a fairly innocent uh, request, however that is something that um, really has a, a very troublesome to uh, those of us in, in the media and should be troublesome to, to people in, in general. Um, the whole thing is is that uh, part of our freedom here in the United States and in our Constitution with jury trials is the whole concept of open trials. Secret trials was something that was held previously in England and other places and in fact as part of the Pennsylvania Constitution William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania, put in that, that all trials should be, should be open and public. He himself as a young man had been the subject of a secret trial in London. So this is, this is very important, um, very, uh, there, there are certain instances where perhaps the trial could be closed, especially if the defendant is a juvenile, but in cases where the victim is a juvenile, there is no presumed right for, to, uh, to close the, uh, the, the courtroom. So that's why we were very concerned. We talked with our attorney for the Pennsylvania Newspaper Association who reiterated that this is a very serious subject and something that should not be done either on a whim or just maybe because, um, you know, kind of worried about maybe somebody feeling uncomfortable. That There are steps that can be taken, but at all costs that, that the courtroom should be open and uh, kind of brought up a, a couple um, things that uh, editorial did that I wrote on for Sunday where going back to 1982 and it was a Fayette County case where uh, back in 1979 a judge felt there, there was um, some state police had there was a threat against a, um, a witness so the judge at the time ended up clearing the courtroom although he did allow the, the reporter present. However, that the attorney representing the defendant in that case did object. He felt that that kind of caused the, the jury maybe to speculate as to why there were no spectators there. And it ended up that the court, that the case was overturned and a new trial was, was ordered. And, and that was the first real case where it was stipulated that all trials should be held in the open. And again, they gave the, the uh, testimony behind the reasoning being William Penn in, in the Pennsylvania Constitution. And then back in, 19, in 2007, that right was even expanded further. WPXI had gone to court to, uh, it involved a uh, audio tape they were trying to get. And as part of that ruling, the, the state Supreme Court did rule in the station's favor, but also they, they stipulated that all preliminary hearings should be held in the open. So it's a very, big thing. It's a very um, something that you know, we, we hope that, that people take take very seriously. You know, unfortunately, a lot of times people think, well, we're just arguing for ourselves. Maybe we were mad that we didn't get in there to get that testimony of the girl or whatever. But really, what all we're concerned about is the rights of, of the, the general public. We're not, we're not trying to get any special rights for, for the media for the newspaper or anything like that. All we want is openness. We want openness in our government with open meetings and sunshine law and that sort of thing and it's the same way with the courts. The courts should be open. You should have the right 
to go into any trial, any time, so you can see what, what's going on and you can see if the, the courts are operating privately. They're, they're, they're your courts. So that's all that, that really, um, that, that we were really trying to, to do here. And, you know, hopefully now maybe this whole issue, maybe it'll be, hopefully uh, people did read the editorial that I wrote on Sunday, and hopefully maybe this issue will be taken a little bit more seriously from, from here on out. So that's it for this week. And, and again, if you want to send a letter to a uh, question, you can send it by email, M-O-K-E-E-F-E, -E -E, M-O-K-E-F at heraldstandard.com. The Herald Standard's all one word. And um, feel free to, to send me a, a letter, and I'll be more than happy to, to answer it next week. So uh, once again, my, my name is Mark O'Keefe. I'm executive editor for Herald Standard. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.